you need a little bit of inner game to believe, all right, pickup is possible for me. Like I'm someone who could pick up girls. Like you, you, you read the game, you watch some videos and you're like, oh, I could actually pick up girls. And that sparks your inner game a little bit, right? But as soon as, as soon as you believe pick up something's possible, the only way to get your inner game better is through outer game. So inner game comes through outer game, inner game doesn't come first. Yeah, inner game comes from action and experience. It just it gets built that way. You can't like think your way into inner game. I mean, it's, unless you're really just, you know, susceptible to like subliminal messages and hypnosis and affirmations, then maybe, but beyond Funny that- you brought that up because really that, that's what I tried for a long time. I tried hypnosis when I was like 16, 17. I tried inner game programs like uh, On Being a Man who naturally attracts women by David D'Angelo. I would uh, listen to hypnosis tapes that are like, you have the confidence to approach women. Every woman wants you. You believe in yourself and affirmations. I'll do all that shit. But guess what? I was, I was using it as a way to avoid the hard work, right? So my mentality was once I have inner game, then pickup will be easy. So I can use it to avoid approach anxiety. I can use it to avoid getting rejected. I can use it to avoid, visualization can be useful, but it can also be the same thing. Exactly. So those things, if you're taking action and then you also do some hypnosis, if you're taking action, then you visualize, that's helpful. But yeah, it's mental masturbation if you're using that in, without taking action as well. I would think of it like Protecting creatine. Your ego think of it like creatine. Complacent. Yeah. So creatine, if you're working out and you're, you're hitting the gym, you're lifting weights, it can help you get more gains. But if you're just eating creatine, you're just going to get water weight and look chubby. It doesn't do anything by itself. It's a supplement. So inner game is extremely important. But the first thing you have to understand is it comes through outer game, right? You do approaches and then inner game is how you interpret those approaches and making sure that your confidence and self-esteem go up over time instead of going down over time. It's building your belief as opposed to getting negative and getting on a negative spiral, which is what happens for a lot of guys. That's where inner game comes in, but it's never the first step, right? It's not like I'm going to meditate until I have enough confidence to approach that's the underlying thing about inner game is all those things can help but if you're not approaching and you're waiting until like i'm buff enough you're waiting until i'm confident enough you're waiting until you're uh, making enough money then you're just bullshitting yourself right that's not inner game that's mental masturbation that's procrastination productive procrastination and always start taking action now all right that's always the right answer and that's the only way to build inner game is through taking action and then interpreting the action you take as a win, that's the key. And then once you interpret it as a win, then the next time you take action, you get better results. And then it's easier to interpret that as a win. And then it's an upward spiral. Um, it eventually was both the, the good shit and the bad shit that ended up actually pushing me forward and making me um, a little bit different. So when I went out that day and I had the idea that I was gonna do this with, uh, with the intent of having fun instead of looking for a certain outcome, uh, I made out with three curls uh, I got a ton of phone numbers and I'm going home with a girl that night. And I think about that all the time. I think about the, the simple fact that it wasn't necessarily, so it, it wasn't ultimately, I mean, the, the good results do help. I mean, if you had nothing but bad results, of course, you're not going to have that ability. But when you keep going through bad shit over and over, it gives you like a certain thick skin behind it. So like, everybody's like, how do I get the results? How do I avoid the rejection? Don't avoid the rejection. Like, like sometimes like, like I did this yesterday with uh, Avery and my very first approach uh, I saw like, I didn't like, I didn't approach like this mom daughter set because I'm like, oh, it's my first approach. And then later down, I wrote a field report about like, fuck, why did I do that? Uh, I, I actually should have pushed myself into it because knowing this, that's massively powerful. Like I would, all I would have done is just built up my confidence by getting rejected. What happens with a lot of guys is they start going out they start approaching. And I bet some of you guys, this has probably happened to you. And guess what happens? They don't get numbers at first. They don't get dates at first. They get some instant rejections. They get some negative reactions. And what happens? They give up, they burn out. They're like, this won't work for me. There's no hope for me. And they're like, fuck this. And they burn out. That's what happens to a lot of guys. It happened to me the first time I tried pickup. And that's where inner game, co game comes in. So what you wanna do is every time you go out and you practice, you write a field report and you write three things I did well, right? You keep track of the things that you're doing well, the progress that you're making so that your mindset isn't too focused on the negative. You're not just thinking about the girls that rejected you. You're also like, well, I made strong eye contact with that one girl and I could feel the sexual tension. Or you know what, even though eight girls rejected me, one gave me her number, that's positive. That's really the key is to see every time you go out, 
that it was a win overall. That even if it could have been better, it was a win. Like you made progress, you had wins, you had successes. And that's what increases your inner game. That's what tells you, you know what? There is hope for me, right? Like I could actually get this together. I'm making progress. Because what most guys do, every night they go out, they don't pull, I fail, right? Every night I go out, I didn't get laid. I don't have a girlfriend, I failed. Game doesn't work for me. That's what they tell themselves, right? You Maybe you've told yourself something like this. You go out, you don't pull, you're like, wasn't good enough. And it's very important to see that you're making progress, to feel like you're making progress. And this is something men struggle with. Men tend to really struggle with this because we're conditioned to be like very harsh on ourselves and to judge ourselves very harshly, but you have to see the wins. This is actually something that I thought, so me and Avery, we have a lot of the same ideas when it comes to like uh, self-growth and personal growth. Um, so a lot of people nowadays, like, so if you guys have ever heard of like the idea of using uh, practicing gratitude, sounds very woo-woo. But I, I think a big factor to it is that most people, they don't give themselves the easy wins and the, and the pluses because what ends up happening is that they will, how do I put it? They'll, they'll look at somebody else outside of them, like in this 8 billion man tribe, because in an 8 billion man tribe, of course, there's somebody going to be killing on it, killing it uh, on some insane level that you will never be able to reach. And by comparing yourself to them, you're going to be like, man, I'm low on the totem pole, biologically speaking, because your brain's made for a small tribe. It's made for a small 25 to 50 man tribe, but we're in an 8 billion man tribe. So the, the way to hack this and the way to start having more confidence is to practice gratitude. You're, you're the shit. You're the best. There's nobody like, there's nobody for your girl better than you. And coming from this mindset, coming from like this kind of uh, belief when you approach a girl and you talk to her, uh, it, it comes through. The self is always coming through. So for me, I try to practice this every morning when I brush my teeth. I tell myself how awesome I am every morning. Uh, I tell myself why I'm the best option for anybody, why I'm the best option for, um, you know, coaching uh, for my friends, for the girls, for my family, for money, for this, for that. Uh, and that's a big thing. A lot of guys, especially people that, that come to like, you know, people like Avery, AJ Hayden right here. Um, a lot of times they're not doing good, not because they're not awesome enough, but because they're not giving themselves enough wins. Like they just believe themselves. Cause a lot of people that come to us in particular, what they're doing is, is they are, they're already killing in a life in every way they possibly can, but they're not giving themselves that easy win. So for a lot of you guys practice gratitude. If you guys want to get better at this, practice gratitude. Tell yourself, like, give yourself the win. Let yourself know you're the shit. That's that's the basis of how it works. And one way is field reports. Like, everyone who's not writing field reports, start writing field reports. Even if you just write a short one, like, three things I did well, three things I want to improve on, that's going to massively improve your inner game over time, especially if you're giving yourself credit. Just write them. Like, they, they take a few minutes. It absolutely makes a huge difference. Like, it can triple your learning curve, that by itself, writing field reports. Another way you can improve your inner game is, like, anytime a girl walks by you, and she like holds eye contact, even if she looks away after, just tell yourself she wanted me. Like any interaction you have with a girl, like she liked what she saw. Like no matter what happens, just start telling yourself that. Like until you get to the point where you actually start to believe it. And when you start to believe it, what's gonna happen? Well, a girl, maybe she's checking you out because she thinks you look weird, but you're like, she wants me. And you come up with her with that good energy and there's a good chance she actually will like you because you're so confident, you ask your number, she gives you your number and you're like more evidence that she did want me. And even if some of the girls do, like they reject you, that's bound to happen. But if overall you're doing a lot of approaches, you're gonna start getting references that some girls do think you're sexy, right? And every time you get one of those, that's what changes your belief. Cause right now by default, your belief is probably like no girl finds me attractive. No girl I approach is gonna like me. But if you start doing it because you develop those positive delusions, it's gonna to start to become a fulfilling prop, self-fulfilling prophecy where more and more girls do find you attractive because you have that like kind of cocky, uh, that cocky energy that women like. So quick update, the last day of the boot camp, uh, I had a girl, uh, we were gonna hang out at my place. So we had like a little date, we're gonna to get together, uh, hang out. And I'm happy to say that was like my first lay straight from cold approach. And he kind of just said, go talk to that girl. Go talk to that girl. Pull, pull, push. And I was just like, well, if I can't do it for myself, I can't let Avery down. So basically went for it. So after about 10, 15 approaches, I see this girl on the escalator and he's like, go now, go. And so I walked down and I'm like, I had to defy gravity to come to meet you. She was like, oh, it's nice to meet you. And so we vibed for about five minutes and then her friends came up, two dudes and they basically were like, bro, you're a pimp. And I was like, what's up, man? What's up, what's up, what's good? It's like, you better take care of her, bro. So I was like, let's go for a walk. So we went for a 15 minute walk. Turns out we're both from Utah and we were staying at the Flamingo. So we just walked back to the hotel. Um, 
went to the bar, bought some drinks, made out, connected some more, push pull, you know the whole thing. And then led her to the elevator. She just started making out with me. Uh, I can't recommend the boot camp enough. Prior to this, I'd never done a cold approach in my life through the boot camp. I think I was able to do like, I don't know, 20 to 30 approaches. Um, was able to get um, two girls to agree to go out on dates with me. Uh, ended up going on one date with a girl just logistically and then was able to uh, pull her back to her place. Had a one night stand. It was the uh, first one in my life. I used a lot of the stuff I learned from Avery in the camp. If you guys are on the fence about taking the boot camp, I would say just do it. It's well worth it to invest in yourself. Thank you, Avery, for you've opened my eyes and really changed the way I look at things. I can't wait to uh, keep going. And uh, like I said, guys, sign up for the camp. Avery's a good dude and he'll, he'll help you out and work through anything with you. And he's, he's a good dude. I can't recommend it enough. So she's moaning in my ear. We get back to the hotel and yada, yada, yada. You know what came next. So yeah, it's just, you just gotta push yourself. You gotta, you have to put yourself out there. You have to not care about what other people think. Reject the judgment, embrace the rejection and just be a fucking man. I'm also a uh, diagnosed level one autism. So, you know, high functioning, lots of social anxiety. But I notice with the more action that I take, the more the anxiety turns into excitement. And it just, you just get that rush because you're just putting yourself out there. And when you connect with somebody, it just feels like you have your own shared, shared reality and you're the only two people that exist and it's years to lose at that point point. and i gotta say i'm not i'm not embarrassed or shamed about it i have not had sex during from cold approach in the last five years so to have that happen within the first three and a half hours the first day of boot camp is incredible and i'll take that everywhere i go thanks avery